I played in the NBA All-Star Celebrity Game, and we're gonna break down everything that happened starting from when I pulled up to the arena, the red carpet. My teammates were looking like this, so stylish. Simu looks like a million bucks. My smooth brain forgot NBA pregame, you're supposed to wear the most fire fits possible. I didn't get the memo. That was my one chance in life to have dope tunnel picks in a sick outfit. My fit was an embarrassment, bro. I had a stain on my shirt, so I tried to wash it out. Next thing you know, I'm taking a picture with my celebrity teammates. Oh, it's so embarrassing. Look at that stain. Did a couple interviews on the red carpet. That was cool. I'm feeling so Hollywood. Then your boy made it into the locker room. I was one of the first ones there. We're in the locker room. This is my little section. Got the reigning MVP next to me What's right up, here. What's up, baby? Going for back to back. You good? Yes, sir. Not too, baby. All right, bro. Man. Check it out. The jersey with the 17 Jesser. Very clean. Seeing the jersey for the first time was a surreal moment. Like, this is a huge dream come true for me. They gave us a hat. Ruffles. <laughs> Let's go. What is this? Damn! What the hell? You see this coat? <laughs> that coat is nice! You just get hooked up playing in a game like this. It's awesome. I wasn't really able to film too much in the locker room. A little bit after that clip, 21 comes in the room. I was in the locker room. 21 Savage was like, you can hoop a little, right? I was like, yeah. He's like, you look like Tyler Hero. Let's go. <laughs> I will take that from 21 Savage. Once we all got our jerseys on, we walked down the tunnel and I encountered a legend. I went, I went, I went. <laughs> Richard Jefferson! We got a chance to warm up and I started vlogging. Shout out to everyone who was showing me love and support at the game. It meant the world to me. And I even got some of the teammates on the vlog. You ready? Dude, you took 69. It's yin and yang, man. <laughs> it's game time, baby. Let's, Let's get the dub. That's my teammate, Mr. Savage. Yes, sir. After warming up, we went back to the locker room to meet our coaches, Giannis, Alex, and Thanasis Antetokounmpo, right here, and Lindsey Vaughn, an Olympic skier. When Giannis entered the room, bro, the energy was there. He had this huge coat on. It was so sick. Giannis is hilarious. Look at him saying what up to 21. 21! <laughs> Everyone was saying that to him. After that, we went back out to warm up, and I gave Giannis a custom pair of shoes. Well, you're gonna have to subscribe because that's a full video coming later i surprised a bunch of all-stars with shoes so subscribe to see that shout out to yeah, my boys yeah, in the building with yeah, the jester yeah, shirts that's hype that's the support i needed it was now game time ladies and gentlemen and to introduce the lineups was ben affleck what that's insane and his son sam shout out to sam now this is an epic moment listen to the intro your boy got this basketball influencer has traveled all over the nba creating videos seen by hundreds of millions of fans the little and my favorite YouTuber, Jesser! Jesser! Yes! The little clap master. That is what I'm known as my first time on big TV and I'm known as the little clap master. You know what? I will take it because it is true. If you're new to this channel, I'm very awkward. Um, <laughs> when I celebrate my go-to, it's just some little clap. You'll see it later in the game. I don't do it on purpose. It just happens. He also said I was his favorite YouTuber, so that's awesome. Shout out to you, Sam. It was time for the game to start, people. I didn't make it to the starting lineup, though, so I'm going to put this right back on. Don't sleep on me, honest, bro. I've been training all month for this. Making the starting lineup is hard. I'm just happy I'm there. There's 11 players on the team. We got a whole squad. And the game started. We won the tip-off and instantly threw a turnover. This is how the celebrity games are. They're hectic. Kane Brown pulls up for three. Air ball. Great start to the match. Then my boy DK got the ball. Everyone move out the way. Hey! He got a dunk. Light work for DK. Bro is one of the most athletic people I've ever seen in my life. On the next play, my boy Simu drives in, finds Nicky Jam, ruffles four-pointer. It's a deep shot, air balls it. Wade is not happy. Hey, not the ruffle. Get behind that a lot. <laughs> ruffles is tough. D Wade is right. Wade wasn't happy about the ruffles four-pointer, but the ball goes out to Simu for the ruffles four. Bang! <laughs> That's why he's a superhero. Our team was popping off to start the game. Look at this, Simu goes in for the layup. It's 10 to two. We're dominating. Since we were on a roll, D-Wade activated crunch time, which makes the points doubled for both teams for two minutes. Wild stuff goes down in the celebrity game. Our first play with the Ruffles crunch time activated. DK, pump, drives in, and one! Yes! So technically, that was worth four points, and if he makes the free throw, that's an extra two. So if he makes his free throw, it's a six-point play, breaks the free throw. But we're up 16 to four. The other team comes down right after that and gets an and one of their own. 
During the free throw, it was time for substitutions. This is my moment. Coach, I'm ready. I'm ready. They did not sub me in. Um, there were six of us on the bench. I was the one person who did not get subbed in, but that's okay. Giannis, you are sleeping on me. I am nice. Don't get it twisted. Just gonna put this right back on. With the new squad, first play down, D-Wade is yelling at Janelle. Janelle, we're on fist. Janelle, we're on fist. Janelle, we're on fist. Janelle, we're on fist. 21, Savage comes in. Nice crossover with the assist. Tifo, beautiful mid-range. Our team's trying to have some fun out here. We give the ball to Janelle, and they come out like some hungry lions. They go down, get fouled on the layup. We started to lose our lead. Our team was going downhill. They got a layup and took the lead. Timeout. Coach, you got to put me in. This is my moment, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your boy to enter the game. With two minutes in the first, I enter the game. I'm taking up the ball. You know what? I'm a good team player. I see DK wide open for the four-pointer. I pass it. He air ball it it's a rebounding mess i somehow help the rebound get it to our team 21 is wide open top of the key takes the three bang 21 will you do something for me oh my bad it was a four pointer his foot was on the ruffles line dk sees 21 savage 21 taps it to me i get the ball i see my boy alex toussaint wide open three bang look at that i get on the floor Seven points instantly for my team. Osborne right here, he was a hooper hooper. Takes the jump shot. And then Albert Pulos gets the rebound. And they call the foul on me. I feel like it was on 21 though. At this point, I'm thinking, I haven't taken any shots, bro. I need to get the ball. I'm guarding Diamond to Shields and WNBA player. And I'm like, I'm gonna try to steal this. So I play some aggressive defense. Get the foul call, but it's good though. Cause now our team will get the ball back. We can get the final shot. Before she took her first free throw, Hassan went up to her and was like, you know, this is on ESPN, right? Trying to get in her head and it made her miss her first free throw. Big brain play from Hassan. And with eight seconds left, they give the ball to Alex Toussaint. My boy was also going for MVP. Drives in, gets the foul call. He hits the first and second free throw. And at the end of the first, we were up 26 to 20. I came in the game, down one, two minutes left. At the end of the quarter, we were up by six, man. I make things happen for my squad. All right, boys. I didn't take any shots in the first, yeah. but I did get yeah, a clutch assist. Well, I'll take it. <laughs> at the end of each quarter, they activated a bonus that changed the game. Let's see what the first bonus was. Six versus six. Six versus six, what is going on? Honestly, I was happy because I was like, extra spot on the court, sign me up. Richard Jefferson was doing his thing, commentating, then all of the sudden, is it? Oh, okay, 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 okay. should I referee? Should we referee? I'll come out here. Look at you guys. have my whistle. He is now a ref. This man is a legend. I didn't end up starting in the second quarter, but it is the six versus six. This is going to be hectic. They finally put in Calvin Johnson. Drives in for a layup, instant bucket. Y'all hear that music? A base drop is coming. Fortunately, Guillermo did not have the range on that one. He was definitely the crowd favorite at the arena. The basketball in the six versus six, it was ugly. We were getting blocked. Show and go move. Oh. We were having turnovers. He's got 11 points in the game, maybe the lead. It was a mess out there. Coach, you need me. You really do. Nope. It was such a mess at six minutes. It was time for a change. The subs came in. I was not chosen to go on the court. So I was still on the bench. Tucson was now on the floor. Drives in, step back three. Bang! That was a tough shot. 21 Savage comes down, right side of the court, pulls up. Air ball. Unlucky. After that air ball, the coaches knew what to do. Put me in the game, yes sir! So I'm talking about. At this point, we're 15 minutes into the game, I got one assist. I don't really got anything to show for it, so in my head, I told myself, next time I get the ball, I'm driving to the basket and I'm shooting it. I don't care, no one else is passing, I gotta do it. My first play of the game, they give it to their star player, Osborne. He drives in, and Metcalf says, no! Denies him with a beautiful block. Oh my God. I'm so happy DK was on my team. You guys, this is my moment. 21 passes me the ball, I'm locked in. I told myself, I'm driving. In and out on pool hose. Get by him, pump fake Calvin Johnson. Throw it up. Probably not the best idea to pump fake on Calvin Johnson. But hey, I'm going to the free throw line. I'll finally get some points. Ruffles crunch time was activated, so points are doubled, but it was flashing these crazy lights in the backboard. Definitely was not ready for that. My first free throw, my hands are super sweaty, bro. I'm nervous and it goes in and out. No! I can't train all month to miss two free throws in a row. So I make the second one, which is double points. So that was two points for me. Diamond to Shields gets the ball. WNBA super 
superstar right here. I come out of nowhere and block her three-pointer. Not today. Not in my house. I didn't really do that much, so instant replay. Look at me with the block. She's a professional. Pool house throws it to me. I do a little half spin, low by the defender. I'm thinking I'm gonna shoot it, but I nearly lose the ball, so I throw it over to DK, who's usually an automatic bucket, but he misses the reverse this time, and I can't get the rebound as well. I take up the ball, left to right, crossover. I hit my boy 21. 21 gets the ball, jab step, drives in, loses it, and now I'm sprinting back on defense. In my head, bro, I was thinking way too much this game. I was like, how lit would it be if I got a charge on someone? So I see pool host, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna take a charge on this dude. This is so embarrassing. I, I, I shouldn't even show you guys this. I'm embarrassed of this clip. Just watch. I hit the ground. <laughs> They're not calling that. Albert Pulos was going like one mile an hour. I might have been able to block him. But in my head, I was like, I'm taking a charge, bro. I'm ready for this. Tucson had the ball at the top. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go help him out, set him a screen. My man was going for that MVP. Drives in and gets fouled on the floater. I was starting to realize the only way to really get the ball is off of rebounds. You saw it misses the first free throw. Second free throw is up. It misses it. I was one of the rebounders there. I look down the court and I see someone open. So I turn on the Jets and intimidate him and get the rebound. I went from coast to coast to help get the stop. I'm putting in the energy, coach. You see me, I'm hustling. So on my way down the court, I was like, you know what? I'm pulling this. <laughs> I see the Ruffles four point line. I go up. Bruh, I airballed it. In the back of my head, I don't know why, I was scared someone was gonna block for me from behind. I was way too in my head. I'm sorry, coach. My confidence. <laughs> During the out of bounds, you can't see it, but 21 Savage comes up to me, puts his arm around me. He says this. Hey, bro, you gotta slow it down. Pass the ball. I'm just like, sorry, Mr. Savage. <laughs> my man, everybody was airballing out there. Then the next play, DK gets a three-pointer. It's up. And he also airballs it. I'm not the only one. The other team's coming down, throw a horrible bounce pass. We get the steal, but then the team steals it right back. And then I get the block, clean block, and they call a foul. Bro, it was all ball. So now, guys, I have three fouls. Pulos, first shot is in, and the second shot is in as well. Ref, I'm mad. I'm taking out the ball. I see my boy Simu, Shang-Chi in the building. Pass it to him, one dribble. Pull up, the mid-range is in and out. DK gets the rebound to me, pause. Okay, I probably should have shot this, but my guy was wide open for the three, so I passed it out. He takes the three-pointer and it's an absolute mashup to get the rebound. Me and Albert Pujols are fighting over it and it ends up being a jump ball. But look at that, man, I'm hustling. I'm getting so many rebounds. On the jump, I swear Pujols hit this one out of bounds, but they called it on me. I swear refs were selling. <laughs> There's about 20 seconds left right now. The ball goes over to DK. DK sees me in the corner, I pump. Go past Pujols, I see Calvin Johnson, I go up for the contact layup. I'm not scared of nobody. Calvin Johnson is a beast, but I'm not afraid of the contact. At the end of the half, we are down by three points. First half, I had four points, a couple rebounds and assists, but I wasn't putting up MVP numbers just yet. Since it's halftime, I gotta give a shout out. Our new Bucket Squad All-Star shorts have just dropped on BucketSquad.com. We got two different pairs of shorts, literally the best basketball shorts you could ever get. We have youth sizes and regular, so make sure check out bugswan.com or link in the description. And the next bonus that was unlocked was unlock a legend. So Carlos Boozer has now joined our squad. Bro has been living good since he has retired. He's put on some weight. Don't think he's been in the gym at all. Now let's see who the other team gets. Richard Jefferson was the ref takes off his ref outfit and joins the other team. This is not good. Richard Jefferson is a beast. Richard went from commentating to refing to now playing on the other team. First play of the second half, the other team drives in and gets the ball to Guillermo. Then Boozer blocks him. Poor Guillermo, honestly. Man came into the game to bully Guillermo. Then Richard Jefferson drives back in and just posters it. Boozer, no energy, no effort. Richard Jefferson was not playing around, man. Just dunks it easy. Richard Jefferson was guarding 21 and they decide to double team. They trap us. 21 throws the turnover. The second half was not looking good for us. They get a dunk in crunch time. So they are up big now. Richard Jefferson from the corner drives in and gets the foul. Boozer, I need you to play some defense. I was on the bench. I literally started talking to the coaches. I was like, coach, I'm gonna give you that energy. Boozer's not doing anything out there. I will hustle. I'll get us rebounds. They were trying to win. The other team was starting to take quite the lead. Osborne did a spin, floater, 
And then Richard Jefferson gets the rebound and gets fouled again. Boozer was given no energy. Boozer, mid-range at the top. Pulls up. That's his shot. Brick. Then Richard Jefferson, their legend, comes down and dunks it. It was looking bad for our team. Tucson tries the four-pointer. Air balls it. Timeout. During the timeout, I was telling the coaches, I'm going to give you all that energy. I'm a hustle. And I talked to Giannis. When you leave on the ball, you can take it all the way. If okay. somebody's... Nobody's ahead of you. I'm getting all the rebounds. First of all, can I just say that is one of the coolest video clips of me in my entire life? Second, Giannis told me if I get the rebound, go all the way or look up the court and pass. With a minute and a half in the third quarter, your boy is checked back in the game. We are down by 11 points when I subbed in with a minute and a half left. Guys, look who's guarding me. Guillermo. Ain't no way Guillermo is stopping me. I'm thinking Simu hit me. I got the mismatch of the ages. Instead, Simu drives in and finds DK, who goes up, tries to get the poster, gets fouled. DK hits the first free throw. Then on the second free throw, DK shoots it. It misses to himself. Big brain play. Gets the little floater to go. That's ideal. Guillermo had the most Guillermo shot of all time. Got the ball stuck. He was shooting it on me. Thank God he didn't make it, bro. If Guillermo made it on me, I would have been embarrassed. <laughs> After that, they had a tip off for the memes. It was Guillermo versus DK. Obviously, DK hits it all the way down to Tucson, who gets the layup. That was an awesome play. Guillermo gets the ball. Our team decides to double, and he drops it down to the Miz. The Miz hands it off. Kane Brown goes in for the layup. He misses. The Miz grabs it. Boom! I strip him. And then I remembered what Giannis told me. Nobody's ahead of you. Throw the ball. Oh, yeah. So I threw it up to DK. I already know what's going to happen. Hey! DK with the slam dunk from the assist from your boy. I listened to my coach. I did exactly what he told me. Your boy is out here making winning plays for his team. And now at the end of the third, we were only down four points. In the one and a half minutes I was in in the third, we outscored him by seven points. I'm making winning plays. For the final bonus, it was captain's challenge. Both of the captains got to do a three-point contest, shooting 25 threes each. Each one they make is a point for their team. So we're all thinking, bro, we got Dwayne Wade on our team like this is gonna be easy we're about to get a comeback off our captain ryan goes first and actually scored 11 three-pointers that was sick we're all thinking oh we got d wade this is gonna be easy we're about to get a huge lead our captain d wade goes and he only ended up getting 10 points so going into the fourth instead of being down four points we were now down five points the coaches didn't even say who was subbing in so i literally just walked onto the court i was like i'm here so your boy was starting in the fourth quarter first play of the game dk gets the ball pulls up for the three-pointer, and air balls it. It was a shame. The next play, Corday comes down, misses the wide open layup, I get the rebound, and I remember what coach said, go all the way, coast to coast, in and out, all the way. Your boy gets fouled, let's go. This is my moment, I shoot, and I make it. Barely rimmed around, let's go. Five points to my name. Next free throw, I have to make two in a row. Boom, let's go. Go. We are about to witness some absolute BS. The other team saves the ball. The dude's in front of me. I smack the ball, 100% ball. He takes the shot and gets the and one on me, but I didn't even foul him. Stop the flames, stop. So now I have four fouls, right? <laughs> and the worst part was on the and one free throw. He misses it, they get the rebound. Bro pulls it all the way down, baits me into a foul, and gets another and one. Back to back and ones on me. So I got five fouls now. I was heated. We are down eight points with six and a half minutes. It was time for the comeback. My boy Simu had the ball, gets a little screen, goes all the way, great layup. The other team misses, me and Tucson both try to get the rebound. It's a fast break. Three on two, and he decides to go in between both of them and shoot it. He misses it, but Enrique gets the rebound. Step back. I'm like, I need to get this rebound. I'm hustling. I'm running on the floor. Pass it back to Enrique. She throws it out to Tucson for the three. He airballs it. I catch it. And one. Ah! You feel me? Yes, sir. Look at this. And one on Albert Pujols. I fall on the floor. My whole game plan was like, I'm going to just try to be the hustle player for my team. Help my team win by rebounding. And that was also the only way I was getting the ball <laughs> was rebounds. It worked out. Got the and one. Helping my team come back and win this game. I got three and ones in a row. Two of them were fouls, but still. You guys already know that I had to not down the free throw yes sir your boy now has nine points that and one gave us so much momentum arike came down through the legs step back mid-range bang we are only down by one point now look at that man i support my teammates with some small claps momentum is on our side but then dk gets fouled he misses the first free throw 
and makes the second one. We are now all tied up. At this point, I'm just thinking we gotta get the W. Then right after that bucket, they activated Ruffles Crunch Time. Points are doubled for both teams. They drive in DK with an insane block. I'm hustling to the corner. And unfortunately, I'm out of bounds. No, dude. Right when I heard the whistle, I, oh, I was so sad. It was crunch time. They were over dribbling right here. DK doubles one more time. He was doubling like crazy on the fast break. You know what time it is. Boom! Looking like Shaq out there. DK was popping off. And crunch time was activated, so that was a four-point dunk. There's only three seconds left on the crunch time. So the dude takes a three-pointer, going for the double points, gets blocked by DK. I get the rebound. I see my boy DK. I throw it. Cross-court pass all the way for the reverse. Bro, DK, I see you. Look at that, man. I'm a team player. I'm trying to get us the W. Then their point guard was coming down, and no one was defending them for some reason, so I stepped in and accidentally fouled. That was my sixth foul. I fouled out of the game. At no point in my head did I even think about fouling out. I didn't even know you could foul out of a celebrity game. There has been 20 NBA celebrity games, and I'm officially the first person to ever foul out of a celebrity game. <laughs> like, are you serious? I'm honestly kind of proud of myself. At the start of the fourth quarter, we were down by five, and when I fouled out, we were up by four points. Yes, sir! My final stat line was nine points, eight rebounds, four assists, and my plus minus was plus 17. Uh, honestly, pretty good for the amount of minutes I played. It was still a super close game. When we were only up four points, Alex Hussan comes in, gets stripped by Poulos. Poulos comes down, tries to lob it to him like he's DK. Man gets the ball and then gets fouled on the shot. Thankfully, he misses first and second free throw. Walls dribbles the ball, goes for the free throw. DK with the hang time blocks him. Then he's going all the way, man. DK is an athletic beast. <laughs> We are now up six with one minute left, but anything could happen. It's game time, time to get the W. Let's go. Yeah. Rough six, 35 seconds left. I put my all on the line, man. I can't believe I fouled out. Hey, help him, help him. Oh, Simu. So there's 30 seconds left in the game. I'm vlogging from the bench, and then Guillermo walks to our bench out of nowhere. What's up? How are you, man? I'm good. Can you record a video for Yes. Me? About to Guillermo's son. He's a huge fan. So I literally was taking a video for Guillermo's son mid-game on the bench. Bro, Guillermo really came up to me, bro. I'm honored. I'm a huge Guillermo fan. 24 seconds left in the game. Osborne comes for the mid-range pull-up, and he hits it. So they're still only down by four, but then they get the steal. Clutch Steel gets fouled. He's going to the line. Not that guy. He hits the first and second free throw. So now our team is only up two points with 20 seconds left for our inbound. They forget about the backcourt. We throw it all the way down and Toussaint gets the clutch layup. So we're still up four with 14 left. They need a four pointer to tie the game. So Osborne comes down and pulls up. For the four pointer and air balls, Pulos gets it and gets fouled. So he's going to the line. Thankfully, he misses the first free throw. He then shoots and makes the second free throw. We then get the ball to 21 Savage, who gets fouled. He's going to the free throw line. We really need this free throw right here. This is a big shot from 21. The shot is up, rolls around, and barely goes in. Clutch shot from Mr. Savage. Second shot is up, we need it, he hits it, clutch. And then this is where everything went wrong, people. Six seconds left. We're up by five, you'd think we'd be good. The Miz throws it out of balance. Now there's only two seconds left and it's our ball. We're good, right? Simu tries to pass it in. They get the steal and the layup. Now they are only down three points. Cue the base drop, I'm leaving. The Miz hits the four pointer for the win at half court. We cannot believe it. This is the biggest choke ever, not. So he was out of time when he shot it. Thank the Lord. The shot did not count and Team Wade gets the victory. Let's go. We won the match. DK was an absolute monster, won MVP. Congratulations to him. I did a jersey saw with Simu, that was so sick. He was literally one of the nicest people of all time. And then after 
through the game, I got one of the coolest clips I've ever filmed. I went into Giannis's family and friends locker room and he started talking about me. He said, I'll do whatever it takes. Tell me what to do. <laughs> Tell me yes, yes, yes. yes. You can say, if you need energy, I'm there. I'm shit, I'm ready. Yes. That's okay, give me one second. <laughs> then the second time, I look at him. <laughs> Boy, every rebound. Yes. Six down, rounds. Down the floor. <laughs> down the floor. Yeah, yeah. Back in the floor. Uh, and one. Free throw, oh. three. Right past you. I'm there for y'all. Man, you can Yes. We needed the energy. Hey, y'all are the best coaches of all time. <laughs> best coaching staff I've ever had. Thank you, thank you, Let's go. <laughs> that's, that's love right there. That was just a surreal moment I will never forget. A huge thank you to the NBA for inviting me to this. It was an honor to play in it and a dream come true. I made some content for their app. I'm gonna put a link in the description. If you check it out, it will really help me a lot. And of course to you guys for your support. Without your support, I wouldn't be able to do anything. I wouldn't be doing any of this. I vlogged the entire weekend, had exclusive access. That's popping up right here. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.